What's up guys, welcome to my new YouTube videos and uh, in this video I'll be teaching you how you can utilize function-based or modular-based programming in Python. So what I mean by function-based programming is that using all functions in your code. So basically when you're just typing a bunch of codes like taking user input, let me, let me just show you by doing it. Uh, let me just say if it has main.py. Basically what we do is we just write a bunch of codes, say input into your name print name yeah uh, let's just say we have this uh, two lines of code that takes user input and then it prints out the name to the user so this is this is a good way of programming but it's not fairly the most efficient way of programming so there are two concepts when it comes to structuring your code that, that is uh, module based programming and object oriented programming so we will be discussing about the object-oriented concepts in the upcoming videos, but for now I will be showing you how you can do function-based programming. So we can just basically include this line of code in a function and then call out the function, which will be better. And also the idea of using this, I mean, creating this tutorial is to make you understand how you can use multiple files of Python to work with each other. So let's say you create functions in one file and you use those functions in another file. So let's get started. What we can do is uh, we'll create a main.py file and then we'll create sorry methods.py. So the methods.py is going to contain all the functions that we're going to be creating and the main.py will use those functions. So uh, let's just create a main function. So we'll say define main. It won't take any parameters or something. So uh, we'll just take a user input and we'll say, sorry, enter your name. And then we'll say uh, age. We'll say input. Sorry, enter your age. So since age is an integer, is a whole number so we'll use an integer in this one and then uh, what we can do is modify the name and edge so for that we need a couple of functions so what we can do is we can create functions in methods.py so let's just create a random function say uh, a function that formats, sorry for the spelling, formats the name. So we'll say format name and then it will take a user input or let's say a parameter name. So what it will do is it will first capitalize the name. For those who don't know what capitalize method does is it simply capitalizes your uh, string so it's so if you have all lower or all uppercase or I mean mixed cases it will just convert the first initial into capital letter and the rest of them into lowercase letter so uh, we have the capitalized form and then what we can do is we can replace a with a hyphen so we'll say name equals name dot replace. So if the user input has a letter A on their name, so uh, we'll replace it with uh, a hyphen. Sorry, what what happened here? Let me just exit it. Up. And then what we're going to do is we will return name. So what this function does is it takes a parameter called name which is a string and then it capitalizes it first and then replaces its character a with a hyphen character and then it returns the name the function returns the name so in main.py how we can use it is we'll just say we'll just say new name so that you don't get confused with the variables we'll say sorry format name was it our function yeah <clears throat> format name and then it's going to take in the user input which is stored in the variable name so what it should do is it should do all these lines of code from this line over here and then what we'll do is we'll just print 
new name. Okay, so what it should do is <clears throat> let's just run this program here, Python main.py, and it's doing nothing because we haven't called in the main method. So it says enter your name. Uh, let's say um, John A A S whatever it is, so that it gets replaced. It says enter your A's. Let's say 18. It says format name is not defined. Yes. We have a format name in this file, but we don't know where to look because we have not specified where that function is and it is in methods.py. So how we can use that function from this file into main.py? It's basically simple. We just say from the name of the file, which is methods, we'll say import. What is the function name? It's format name. Let's just copy it and paste it it's from methods import format name what it does is it will basically import this method into this program so we'll run it again we'll say abby allison and then we'll say 16. so what it did is it replaced the lowercase a with a hyphen so the main concept behind it is it is I mean formatting the name because we have already imported it and it is running this bunch of codes the first letter has been capitalized and then it has returned the name to the user so we are able to print it so that's basically how the function function programming works like you have a main method where all the methods are used in main methods basically you can use methods in different functions as well I mean different functions your custom functions but basically it is mostly used in the main method so for the age uh, just pause the video and what I want you to do is create a method I mean a function in methods.py to format A's what it should do is it should add 50 to your A's and then uh, uh, let's just say it should subtract 100 from your A's and then print out you are this years behind getting to 100 so basically just pause the video and try attempting that and it should the function should be used in the main method so just go ahead and do that okay now let me just show you how it's done i hope you have already done it so i will say function to format the edge all right uh, we'll just say format the edge we'll say define format age always use a meaningful function name i'm just i'm not using a meaningful function name over here it's just format age but what we're actually doing is we're decreasing 100 from the age so what we'll do is we'll say age equals 100 minus age so whatever the user throws in the number in age parameter it will get subtracted from 100 and then we will return age that's that's basically it so we'll use this format A's method over here. We'll say new A's format A's and we'll say A's and we'll say you are sorry we need to convert this into a string new A's behind making it to 100 years so what it should do is it should print out you are 100 minus your age behind making it to 100 years so let's just run this i know it's not going to work because there is one error in it I'll just like type the random name and we'll just say 50 and it says format age is not defined so we have to import format age as well so what you can do is you can just say from methods import sorry format a but that is not a good way of doing it because in methods you can have hundred lines of functions I mean hundred functions in main method I mean methods function but so like if you have hundred functions you're not going to do from methods import a bunch of lines just importing stuff so a simple solution would be uh, separating it with a comma format A's obviously it will work 
yeah it says you are 50 behind making it to 100 years let's just add 50 years and again this is this is a good way of importing different functions into your program but what to do if you have to import many functions from that methods file so what you can do is just basically say from methods import star what it will do is it will import all the functions that is in the methods file and then you can use whichever you want so let's just try this and we'll say name whatever it is and we'll say 12 it says you're 88 years behind making it to 100 years so i hope you've learned a bunch of, i mean a little bit of functional programming in this so uh, if you try to integrate this functional programming concept into whatever you're going to build next using python it will be easier for you and i'm not just saying it for python you can use it to all languages uh, java javascript other languages as well it is very easier that way and it is a very effective method so in the coming videos i'm going to be teaching you more about this functional programming i will be uh, using functional programming to create some of the tkinter applications uh, so that's it for this video i hope you like this new video and i will be adding more videos to my youtube channel stay tuned and subscribe to my channel